I'm back. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? I've got green stuff all around my head. I don't know why. Put that green stuff all around my head. Get that green stuff away from here. What's up? What is up? What is up? What is up? What is up? I have to find something to change the stream to now because I'm not an Italian chef. People are going to be like, you are lying. You are lying. Oh, my uncle is here. That was my uncle. That was my uncle. My uncle. My uncle. Uh, the chef. My uncle, the chef. He is ridiculous. He doesn't know how to use the internet or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, we love him. We love him. We love him. We love him anyway. We love him anyway. Okay, so let's do some inaudible whispers while I think of something to call the stream. Maybe 
messages, messages in our Discord. Tomorrow we're going to be doing um, a special stream of Wilder Myth, Wilder Myth, Wilder Myth. And I mean, maybe not the only stream, but I think, I think if it goes well, we'll probably do more. Uh, I'd like to do that a bunch because, 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 because. service. 
I need 50p. Can you put 50p all over me? Just to rain that pee right down on me. Cover me in pee, please. Uh, and that's weird. That's that's weird to say, but I guess that's how they go. A five a five pound note is a fiver, and a ten pound note is a tenner. Okay, interesting, 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 interesting. I don't know why you're you're giving me a bonk for that kill. I was reading from this website from visitlondon.com. From visitlondon.com. But hey, pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Hey, pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Get tickles. Get tickles. Get tickles. Get tickles. It's time to get tickles. Get tickles. Get tickles. Get tickles. Get tickles right now. Get tickles. Get tickles. Get tickles. Get tickles. Get tickles right now. Get tickles. 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 Get tickles right now. I mean, listen. Yes. <laughs> 
this and this as well. But I don't know people who use those terms nowadays. Cockney rhyming slang. Cockney rhyming slang. Um, it's something where, for me, it's always seems so idiosyncratic that um, I've never been able to like wrap my head around it. I've been like, people just know what you're saying. What?
Here's one. Balling. Balling refers to being rich. If you are balling, balling so hard. Balling extremely hard. Interesting. Interesting. Hello there, Twin Turbo Tyler. 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 Um. I try to find some things that I that I've heard. I've heard. I've heard of moist. Moist is soft or uncool. A more extreme version of wet. Wet, which is uncool, boring, or soft. That's moist, dude. That is so moist. That is the moistest the thing I've ever heard. That is incredibly moist. Why are you doing something so moist? Moist, moist, they might say. Um, and, 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 Buff means strong and attractive. I mean, that is like, that just means you're strong anywhere. That is not, okay, maybe, maybe that was, maybe that one made it over here. Maybe
I love Fortnite. Fortnite is my favorite. I watched my V-Bucks. That's what it says. That is the translation. That is what the translation is. That is the translation. 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 I was reading the, the definitions of these, and one of them was just like, oh, this one means uh, to ejaculate. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to read that one out. I'm not going to read that one. A beef is an argument. Same thing. Navy, 
soft spoken. So let me continue to tell us about some uh, cockney rhyming slang. With that, with that. So uh, if someone says that something is a basin of gravy, that means it's a baby. A basin of gravy is a baby. That means it's suggestive of the softness of the foods on which babies are fed. Hey, take a look at that basin of gravy over there. Money, bees and honey, which is money, bees and honey, which is money. That bees are the epitome of work, and work produces money. I guess it means you know you gotta you gotta work for those bees and honey. You gotta work for those bees and honey. You have to work for it. You gotta work it. You gotta work it. You gotta work it. It works if you work it. It works if you work it. And then if someone says that, um, can you give me a bar and peg? Could I get some bar and peg? Could I get some bar and peg? egg. They want an egg. That means that they want an egg. They borrow an egg. I want an egg. And that is a term about based that enjoyed a fresh lease on life during the Second World War and the food rationing period. So I assume it's because you would have to borrow an egg for an egg because of food rationing during this after the Second World War. That makes sense. Potentially that, that could potentially be it. seen a bottle and stopper. If you see a bottle and stopper, you've seen a copper, a policeman, a policeman. Um, and then that, 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 that is referred to, I guess they say, is because of the stopper in the bottle. Because they stop you from doing something that you would like to do. Much like the policeman do. But they're like, hey, I would like to say, no, 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 you're not allowed to. Um, so that is why that is probably the case. Then if someone says, you're making a box of toys, you're making a box of toys, you're making a box of toys, means you're making noise.
cigarettes. 
some early hours. Would you like to buy some early hours? What would you be buying? What would you be buying if you if someone said that? I'd like to buy some early hours. You'd be buying flowers. You would be buying a flowers. Um, because apparently because flower buyers keep early hours. That's why. She can take it. That's that's it. That's the only logic behind that one.
is also a burger place here in the United States. Listen, look at me, pay attention. Hey, it's time to get 
You're welcome, everybody. You're welcome. 
so um, the thing about that, the thing about that, is that some of these words very occasionally have actually stood the test of time, and we do use them nowadays. Um, if you've heard of blowing a raspberry, have you ever heard of blowing a raspberry? When you make a little, like you go and do like a little farty sound with your mouth, right? I'm not gonna do it um, because I can't really do it that well. Um, you've heard of that, right? Blowing a raspberry. Jimmy Riddle, right? Which could be, I'll say this one because it's not really, you know, anything 
bad. It's just a piddle, like urinating, right? Uh, so you'd say, I'm going to go take a, a Jimmy Riddle, right? Uh, so that is apparently something that people might use nowadays and reminds me a little bit of something that we have here in the United States, which is um, you'd have certain times where people would maybe want to say a swear word, maybe, um, but they are around children or they're Mormon or whatever the case may be. Um, and so they will come up with uh, fake, fake swear words to say what they want to say. Like, you know, like, uh, one thing is like, you know, like H-E double hockey sticks, someone might say, where they just are spelling out the word hell, or that is in fact why people say heck, right? Because they don't want to say hell, right? For that, um, uh, Jiminy Crickets, Jiminy say, like, uh, Jesus Christ, right, in, in, as an angry thing, right? Uh, so there are a lot of similarities I see with that over here and there, like, where it's like, you're like, okay, I'm not doing this because I want to, I'm doing this because I have to, because I can't say the thing that I want to say, right? Cheese and rice, a tofu says, yeah, cheese and rice, that's right, that's right. So it's like, uh, that part of it definitely exists over here on this side of the pond as well. You say Jesus a lot. You say Jesus. Well, I mean, that, that, I mean, you're allowed to say that. No one says you can't. No one says you can't. Oh, shut the front door. Yeah, shut the front door. It's one that you'd say as well, right? Vegetarium says that they do something similar in your native Greek for, like, bad words and stuff like that. Interesting. Yeah, I would believe that that's something that's pretty common in, like, most cultures, because every culture has words you can't say, right? Every culture has words you don't want to say, right? Depending on who you're with. Um, and so I could, I could believe that, that everyone, you know, 
job. I did a really good job drinking water. I did a really good job. I did an amazing job. Don't worry. That happens to me. Uh, what am I saying? Never. I've never done that before. That I've never done that before. No, dude, I will never do that again. It doesn't happen. Stipples, 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 stipples
as you can, or as far as you can, and as many as you can. Hello, damn cinetic. Hello, damn cinetic. Did you just get here? Have you been here for a while? I don't remember seeing you before, but hello, damn. Hello, paint, 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 paint,
See you all.